Hello, all my truth seekers. Welcome to the truth show. My name is Keisha. In this video, I will be talking about the life and scandal of TD Jakes. Upon doing this video, I wasn't expecting to find out what I found out. I mean, not another one. <laughs> why, 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 why is my people being castrated? Oh my goodness. <sighs> well, I will tell you why. So sad. Please know that this is all alleged. I've never met any of these people. I've deeply researched all of my information. This is a trigger warning. In this video, I may be talking about or showing sensitive material about some subjects or topics that may be disturbing or upsetting or may bring forth some troubling memories, as you've read in the description or title. With that said, either in the video now or brace yourself. Aside from that, enjoy. Jake became a highly influential pastor. His kind gesture notes that God does not duplicate people. And more importantly, Jake's goal is to be the best he can be and strives daily to make it happen. Through his ministry, he displays the will of God, he likes to quote, and his king spirit can be seen through the lives of others. For instance, he has helped women to overcome the hardships of divorce. He assures them that the road to recovery is through spiritual guidance. Although with divorce, he has become an advocate for women who are victims of molestation, depression, and discrimination. Throughout his endless efforts, he has remained humble and grateful, and so on and so forth with many career endeavors. Now that we got that out of the way, let's get scandalous. Hey, my truth seekers, did you know that I have a blog? A blog that I post personally selected stories onto. I also have an online journal where I give you a peek at my personal life and more. So please go to the truth show channel dot blog. All the links are below. So the primary question is how a man who's supposed to be so good turned out to be so dark. Well, it seems that after the allegations against Sean Combs, a.k.a. Diddy, came out in, you know, earlier sometime this year, the T.D. Jake scandal was soon to follow. Combs has been accused of sexual assault and abuse that occurred throughout his relationship with R&B singer Cassie Ventura, although it's primarily before that, but hers is the prime um, center of all these allegations. It seems that a TikTok video that made its way to Twitter alleges that Ventura provided more evidence against Combs that also incriminates Jake. Mm -hmm. After Combs settled his first major lawsuits, Ventura was encouraged to go to the feds with more information and evidence. According to the TikToker, it should be noted, however, that everything is alleged and without any confirmed sources. Just want to point that out again. There is no way of knowing how true this information is. Regardless, this TikToker has made some interesting accusations to share, to say the least. Oh, and I'm reading this verbatim from the blog. Okay, and I remember to leave the link below. Okay, now it seems that Ventura has turned over videotapes, a USB drive, and Kim Porter's burner phone. Kim Porter was Combs' ex-partner, with whom he shared three children before she passed away in 2018 from lobar pneumonia. Now, there is also an alleged email out there saying many other things, including T.G. Jakes with Sean Combs, which is evidentiary and factual. They did spend a lot of time together, and other witnesses have came forward and say they used to see T.D. Jakes at, at a lot of Sean Combs' parties. So that has been confirmed, but we see alleged for you know legal purposes. But he has been to a lot of Sean Combs' parties, and it wasn't for praise and worship. Just want to point that out. And... Kanye West was not there at most of these parties, so he can't blame it on Kanye West either. Now, it seems that Ventura was finally convinced to give up the audio tapes and video recordings that contain the footage of these ex-parties and other private gatherings that feature some pretty powerful people and prominent people. I mean, I'm told that there were a slew of artists, politicians, and entertainers that are about to be exposed and maybe arrested for human trafficking. Oh, yeah. And I'm also told that multiple male escorts corroborated the fact that T.D. Jakes, again, has slept with multiple men at Diddy's parties and abroad, and they referred to him as the big power bottom or being power bottom. 
which means he like, well, y'all know what it means. Now, the allegation here is that T.D. Jakes is secretly gay and his marriage is nothing but a facade and his wife knows about his sexual activities, but they have this brand, they have this money, it is what it is. They have kids, they have a congregation, they have an empire to build. You know, you do what you gotta do as long as you um, keep doing what you're doing and bring home the paycheck, you see. This is all alleged, but I'm just telling you, you know, from personal experience, living a church life and pretending to be the happy couple, and also from what I've read and heard and saw and spoke to, yeah, on a personal note as well. So, oh yeah, mm -hmm. now. But let's just say that, you know, they do have this arrangement. Remember, he's a bishop, okay? So will it be okay for him to continue making all of this money? So will it be okay for him to continuously make money by perpetuating a false image while continuously cheating on his wife with men? Is that okay? It has also been noted that this young male, this uh, escort, whoever, who's going to sue T.D. Jakes has acquired a lawyer to represent him to sue T.D. Jakes for an incident that occurred when he was just unspecified years old. This so-called accuser continued. He kept the young man's age a secret, but it's implied that he was a minor when whatever this incident occurred, which is illegal, apparently. Okay. Now, it is also has been said that the young man was forced to perform sloppy toppy. He said making a RA allegation against Jake's. It's been said that the man's family were members of the Potter house, but left the church in 2015. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm not done yet. According to the multiple church insiders, the parents were paid off to keep quiet. He's a grown man now, okay, and is seeking his justice after all of these years. And if he was a victim of this, I hope he gets it. It has been said that the young man doesn't even deal with his parents even to this day because they took hush money. Oh, yeah. He continued, according to this unnamed stir, whoever, Bishop Jakes is about to get railroaded and all of his dirt will be exposed that's why the bishop has quietly lawyered up and those are facts but we say alleged for legal purposes he sees his fall from grace coming it seems that jake s aid actor christian keys like christian keys was talking about td jakes this is all i mean this is a lot of stuff to take in especially for you know bishop fans who worship the ground he walks on they see him as a beacon of something Anyway, but he has been tied to Combs for years, okay? And he has a, his own past skeletons in his closet. You remember his son allegedly arrested for allegedly exposing himself in 2009? And his son-in-law allegedly S.A. toward his adopted daughter? These are facts. However, many major media outlets have yet to pick up the story. I'm not going to tell you some of the abuse allegations I heard from his wife and him. And you know, all other sick things that's been going on in that household has been leaked. Oh, yeah, he's covered up a lot of stuff. And a lot of stuff is going on within T.D. Jake's house. And his skeletons are definitely falling out. Okay, this is all legit, but I'm just saying. However, you can look this up in major media outlets. Okay, because they, you know, may have or may have not picked up the story. But it's primarily small bloggers because major media outlets don't want to get sued whether they say alleged or not. Okay, which means that. Any evidence, to be honest, has yet to be substantiated and confirmed by a reliable source. But who will admit this? You think T.D. Jakes going to get up there and be like, oh, yeah, I did this. Oh, yeah, my son did this. Oh, yeah. I mean, no one admits anything. And they, even when they do go to court and get convicted, they still will lie until the cows come home. Take a look at these clips. Guess what, my truth seekers? Did you know that you can get exclusive commercial free videos on my Patreon? I post my viral and block YouTube videos on there and more and stories that I wrote. You know, I write stories, people. Oh, yes. I post them on there. I'm going to start doing my video diary on there pretty soon. <laughs> yeah, I need to communicate with my truth seekers. They are lifesavers. I love you all. Oh, okay. I'm supposed to be advertising my Patreon. The link is below. Before I say anything, this is allegedly. Ain't nobody going to catch me slipping, okay? Okay. So allegedly, Cassie has turned over evidence to the feds. Yes, to the feds. She has turned over videotapes, a USB drive, 
and Kim Porter's burner phone. Now, there is also an alleged email out saying a plethora of other things that include T.D. Jakes with Diddy. I'm going to let y'all listen to it. I'm not going to say nothing else. It says here, yo, bro, Cassie has turned over substantial amounts of evidence to the feds. I'm told that after Cassie had a long conversation with Blank, I have to protect this person. They're mm -hmm. going through a lot right now. And her lawyers, she finally was convinced to give up the videotapes and audio recordings that contain footage of S parties and other private gatherings that feature some pretty powerful and prominent people. And get this, she even gave up a burner phone and USBs that belong to Kim Porter with incriminating evidence against Diddy. I'm told that there are a slew of artists, politicians, and entertainers that are about to be exposed and arrested for H10. I'm paraphrasing there, okay? Mm -hmm. H10. I'm told that Cassie's husband played a significant role in getting Cassie to turn over the evidence. It's to my understanding that Cassie felt that by exposing the truth, it would also make her look like a filthy more. And I'm paraphrasing there because some of the videos she turned in, it shows her getting number one on number one. OK, guys, I'm paraphrasing again and committing more disgusting acts that she was forced to do. I'm also told that multiple male escorts corroborated the fact that T.D. Jakes have slept with multiple men at Diddy's parties and abroad. And they refer to him as being a power bottom. Wow. It's also been said that a young male has acquired a lawyer to represent him as he is set to sue Jakes for an incident that took place when he was just years old. It's been said that the young man was forced to perform sloppy toppy. And I'm paraphrasing here, guys. You can actually put two and two together to understand what I'm trying to say. Oh. It's been said that the man's family were members of the Potter's House, but left the church in 2015. According to multiple church insiders, the parents were paid off to keep quiet. The guy's a grown man now and is seeking his own justice. It's been said that the young man doesn't even deal with his parents even to this day because they took hush money. According to Pastor Blank, and I have to protect this pastor, Bishop Jakes is about to get railroaded and all of his dirt will be exposed. That's why the bishop has quietly lawyered up. He sees his fall from grace coming. Mm, just don't look good for nobody and when i say nobody i mean nobody hollywood is being turned upside down jeffrey epstein's list is going to come out if this is actually true this list is going to come out and we already know td jakes is caught up with the other shit allegedly being the person that is um messing with christian keys everybody's saying it's either allegedly td jakes or allegedly tyler perry it's either one of them but Oh my God, if this is true, buckle up. Because next year, 2024, y'all better get y'all bingo cards out. Hey, Bishop Jakes. How What's are you? What's up, man? Oh, uh, man, it's so good to see you. It's, it's so better good. to see you. How you doing? Looks like you're out in the sun. I once had Diddy text me, welcome to the family. But I was by a platinum selling producer who was one of his cohorts. In the whirlwind of accusations swirling around Diddy, the latest bombshell comes from an unexpected corner. Mace, his former artist, now a pastor hurling scandalous allegations at both Diddy and his close confidant, Pastor TDJ's. Mace, breaking away from his pastoral restraint, has unleashed a torrent of revelations that have left the entertainment world reeling. He accuses them of engaging in homosexual rituals and other occult practices, a claim that, if true, could shatter the public personas of these influential figures. Happy birthday. Mace's intervention in this controversy is not just a random outburst. It follows a pattern of accusations that gained momentum with Kessie's expose against Diddy. Mace's accusations are particularly grave given his transition from the music industry to the pulpit, which lends a unique credibility to his words. He articulates his struggle in balancing his past connections with his current spiritual calling, stating, if the devil can use him aggressively, then I want you to know God could use me aggressively. This juxtaposition of spiritual warfare against worldly corruption forms the crux of Mace's allegations. At the heart of the storm is T.D. Jakes, a figure whose flamboyance and focus on wealth and fame have often raised eyebrows. His relationship with Diddy, marked by mutual attendance at high-profile events and parties, has fueled much speculation about their personal lives. Why do you think T.D. Jakes was at Puff Daddy's birthday party? <laughs> I, I mean... I, Jaguar Wright, not one to mince words, has publicly questioned Jakes' motives for associating with Diddy, hinting at the underlying dynamics of their relationship. Why do you think T.D. Jakes was at Puff Daddy's birthday party? If Bishop Jakes was at a Diddy party, there could only be two reasons. Money, or that's all that happens at Diddy parties. Sex. This Been so 
swallowed up? Have you ever been swallowed up? Have you gone through a time of swallowing where everything was overwhelming and you would have been swallowed up? Have you ever been swallowed up? Have you gone through a time of swallowing where everything was overwhelming and you... Watch me. I've been saying that in 2024, it's going to be the year of exposure. And God is exposing certain people. People that normally was able to use their power, their influence, and their money to silence people. Those days are over. And before I hear people saying that, oh, this is sown tear in the body of Christ. The Holy Spirit is the spirit of truth. So before you say, touch not my anointing, be my prophets no harm. That's a Nessian statement because that... Scripture is referring to Israel, You're taking a scripture out of context. And if the Holy Spirit is the spirit of truth, then speaking truth is not so tears. It's bringing reformation and healing. In my 20s, I got to be around some of the biggest men and women of God. And I got to witness things because I got to see them without their armor. One of the things that really happens and it's seldom talked about is that there's something called grooming. And it happens in the Pentecostal church, it happens in many churches, but I'm referring to the black church specifically. And what that means is that there will be a bishop, a pastor, apostle, someone who has big conferences, everybody knows, oh my God, they're the holy man of God. And they will pick their victims and they groom them. And it first goes through stage one where they ask questions. What are you into? What do you like? You need to tell daddy everything. And so they're using verbosity and they're using this type of garrulous narrative to try to make you feel uh, comfort, to make you build comfort with their victim. And then from there, it goes into stage two. And stage two is where it begins to become sexual. And it first starts by either making facetious jokes, um, making little statements in the windows. And then it goes into the questions of what turns you on? What do you like sexually? You need to tell me this because I need to know because I need to be able to pray for you. So it's almost like a psychological power game that they're playing with you. And in your head, if you say something wrong, they project it on you. They body shame you. Oh, you're too sexual. Oh, look at your body. Oh, you're the one that's making me do this. Oh, you're. And so you have that in the back of your head and then you also have in their head of their dumb misinformed followers who are pushing this predatory narrative because they're so in awe with either trying to be like them either worshiping them or not worshiping god or worshiping their denomination or where they come from and so they're not even there seeing with the eyes of truth but they're there seeing out of carnality and so they're sitting up there and they're protecting them and the leader the bishop the pastor they know this and so they know and they feel invisible oh i can get away with this i just have to make a statement to my church i just have to tell them and they're never going to question why is it so many people why is it always coming up why is everybody lying so everybody's lying where there's a mouse there's mice and then it goes into the third stage. And the third stage is where they try to become intimate with you. And if you do not allow this, they drop you. They treat you like you're nothing. And they abandon that young male or that young woman. But from my experience, I can only speak from a young male point of view. They abandon that young male and they treat them like they're nothing because they didn't acquiesce to what they wanted sexually. And they look for another victim. And they know they can get away with it because their followers are not people that love the Lord. They worship the pastor. They worship the bishop. So they're not seeking for truth. And so this is the day and age that we're in. And I still believe that there are believers that do not worship personality, so to speak. They don't care who you are. They don't care if you're bishop this, prophet this, apostle that. But they really love the Lord. And so they really are worshiping the spirit of truth, which is Jesus. And they really are about that and so they can see past that i want to say to victims that might not have a platform or might feel like you're going to be judged you can't say nothing because this is what they try to tell you you're going to be judged you can't say nothing you're so in seed of tear you you know god is the judge yeah we know god is the judge but god judges people also through legal systems god judges people also through other people there's a group of christians and we're here and we believe in you and we're here to support you and if you've been feeling in your heart that you can't say nothing, now is the time for you to speak out. There's still a remnant group of Christians that are not worshiping celebrities. They're not worshiping how big someone's conference is, who they are, or their name, or their notoriety. But they believe in truth. And they're here for you. And I'm not a victim. But I'm someone that is speaking truth to help victims 
that have experienced this to say, we see you. And there's a group of Christians, men and women of God, that are the true men and women of God that are here to pray for you. Some of the biggest monsters are right in front of your face Mm. and they manipulate their pulpit to push their nasty agenda and their followers are duplicitous to it. Wow. The bishop got up and he addressed it now and this is exactly what he said at church. I know who I am. This is about you think whatever you want to think I don't care I came to do my job I came to prophesy as I was commanded I came to hear the master say well done thou good and faithful servant Bishop T.D. Jakes ain't got time to worry about you freaks and what you're doing and what you got going down to the Diddy parties. He has other things of a higher nature to worry about. At least that's what he said today at church. I want you to take a listen at this. You know what I was really worried about all week? Our terrorist threat is at its highest level. And I spent my week making sure that everything that we needed was in place in case it was an attack. The attack is supposed to be against synagogues and churches in the south and I knew today would be a target and we have all kinds of extra security precautions in place over your car at the door in the roof in the back I have to think about that And anybody who has that kind of government on their shoulders don't have time to be playing with freaks. Now you can say what you want to say and you can believe what you want to believe, but it to me seems like unless there is some compelling evidence that's going to come out and somebody really bring receipts, then there's no reason for you to talk about this. However, Jermaine Tough Podcast said he gonna keep talking about it. Tough TV said he gonna keep talking about it. He got a whole new video up now. I'm not gonna watch it unless somebody tells me to watch it and say that the evidence was presented. But I look, I ain't finna keep playing with a man of God like this. I'm not gonna be able to do it not on Christmas Eve. I'm going to be honest. I do think, and this is all legit, that T.D. Jakes is bisexual. I've always thought that when I first saw him, and my gaydar is pretty on point. But he's too deep into his old-fashioned beliefs to ever come clean with it. But the question still remains, why was he at Sean Combs' wild parties in the first place? Everyone knows how Combs get down, okay? Why was he seen with him so many times what friendship level were they on and another thing where is this adopted caucasian child that i saw you know trending on tiktok i mean where is this young child they should be investigating that as well take a look at this so i'm seeing this video is starting to circulate and it's being taken completely out of context Eva Veroni Combs, yes, it's, it was breaking news. Diddy adopted a white child. If you listen close to what she says about how he allegedly came across her and adopted her, this is what's majorly being taken out of context. On streets, and then Papa For one, he said that she has two parents. Man. And she so said at the end, me, take me in and, and play with his kids. Me up. 
and said to come inside and play with his kids. <laughs> so, y'all, please stop reaching. This is y'all done painted a whole different picture with this video. That's not cool. <laughs> Okay, now I don't know what the ending results to this adoption. I don't know. So tell me what you think of the video below. The young lady in the video is saying that it's been taken out of context. Let me know what you think below. However, if it turns out this a girl who is missing, I want you to share, 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 because I am worried. I'll just share anyway so we can just get an updated welfare check on this young lady. This young girl, I should have said. Okay, so share, 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 because I am worried. Where is she? I haven't seen her in any videos, pictures, nothing. Someone please find out. This is so sick. I mean, if Combs is doing this, he needs to be brought up on charges. If these allegations are true, whatever they may be, I don't care how deep it goes. He needs to be brought up on charges. No one is above the law. I don't care what connections he have with freaking the feds, the cops, celebrities high elite people youtube i don't care it ain't goes for anyone of any race i don't care what race you are this is not just about castrating my own race this is about justice okay and justice has no color i'm just going to point that out to be continued i try to keep you guys updated either on community chat and i try posting more on my patreon i'm sorry i just don't have time to do patreon but i do thank everyone who supported me on there it really helps me a whole great deal. I really appreciate all of you. Thank you, my truth seekers. I love you for holding it down for so many years. Well, that's it. Let me know what you all think below. On that note, don't forget to subscribe, share, and like. And hit that bell so you get notifications when I do post more videos. See you all later. Bye.